So a couple of hours ago, Google has just went ahead and launched their new AI coding tool, pretty similar to let's say Cloud Code by Anthropic and it's called Gemini CLI. And today in this video, I'll show you how you can download, set up and start using Gemini CLI completely for free. Yes, you heard it correct. You can go ahead and start using Gemini CLI completely for free and even use the Gemini 2.5 Pro AI model right within the same. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is the official blog post by Google about Gemini CLI, like the release notes. And if you want to, you can go ahead and read and find all this information. And as you can see, it says available free of charge. That means you can go ahead and send up to 60 requests per minute and again 1000 model requests per day. And on top of all that, Gemini CLI is open source as well. But biggest thing is that you can actually go ahead and start using it right away completely for free. So the first thing that you got to do is to head over to the first link in the description below and you will land on this GitHub page right here. And now this is the official report page of Google Gemini CLI. And now if I go ahead and scroll down, I'll be able to find all these installation instructions. And now before you go ahead and try to use Gemini CLI, make sure you have Node installed on your computer. If not, you can simply go ahead and click this link and head over to nodejs.org and you can go ahead and download the same for Windows, Mac OS, Linux and then install the same. And once you have Node.js installed, all you got to do is to go ahead and copy this command. So this one right here, or maybe you can also go ahead and use this one. And next up, you can go ahead and open terminal. So in my case, in my Mac, I'm going to open terminal and maybe, okay. What I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and paste this command and I can hit run. I mean, I've already done that, but in which case, all you got to do is to copy paste the URL, like the npx command and then press enter. And now it says need to install the following packages and it says github google gemini gemini cli and what i'll do is i'll go ahead and put y and hit enter so there you go gemini cli is up and running and now in your case when you go ahead and run this particular command first you'll be asked to sort of log in to your google account i mean you'll you'll get like two options one is that you can go ahead and sign in using your google account or second is that you can go ahead and add your google studio api key and take it that way but the best option would be to simply go ahead and log in or let's say authenticate using your Google account. And after that, you'll be also asked to select a theme of your choice. There's a couple of themes that you can choose from. And once everything is done, you'll be taken to an interface like this. And by the looks of it, I mean, you could already probably tell it looks pretty similar to that of Cloud Code, which again is an app that you can actually use right within your terminal. And towards the center, you can find an input box and it says type your message or path. And more importantly, you can find the model that you're using. So Gemini 2.5 Pro and it also says 100% context left. And here you can find Gemini. And now how do you start using it? Well, all you got to do is to send your messages in here. Maybe I can put hi and hit enter. Let's see. It says mining for more. I mean, okay. Yeah. Hi there. How can I help you? Okay. So just for demonstration purpose, I'll try to create a simple web app just as to show you the flow. So what I'll do is I have already prepared a prompt. So let me go ahead and copy the same. So here I went ahead and pasted my prompt and it's actually a bit long. So that's why you're unable to see that in here. So the prompt simply says that create a dictionary web app where users can enter a word and get the meaning and other important details. You may use the free dictionary API for this, the API endpoint and response example are given below and I went ahead and put the endpoint in here and also the response format. And now that is the prompt that I entered in here. And now all you gotta do, I mean, all I gotta do is go ahead and press enter and let's see. All right, so as you can see, it says, of course, I'll create a dictionary web application for you. Here's my plan, create a new directory, uh, create the necessary files, okay, script.js, HTML, all that looks good. And it is asking me the permission to run a command, okay? So I can maybe go ahead and put, yes, allow. Let's wait. Establishing file structures, planning the web app. Mm, yep. I'll put yes again. All right. So I guess Gemini is planning to create a simple HTML based project. Mm, yes. Allow always. Let's see. All right. So there you go. It says the dictionary app is now ready and you can open the index.html file in your browser to use it. And let me know if you have any other questions and I can find all this code that the AI has wrote. Okay. So let's quickly go ahead and locate the HTML file first. So here I have opened up the files app and I can find the HTML file, CSS file, and also the JS file. And next up, let me quickly go ahead and try to open the same. So this right here is the symbol version of the app that the AI has created for us. And maybe I can go ahead and put a simple word in here, dictionary and hit search. 
it says loading and it says cannot read properties of undefined reading entries okay seems like we have some error in here or maybe let's say car all right so the same error persist and maybe let me try visiting the console okay nothing is in there i'll go ahead and open cli and i'll go ahead and say after i enter a word and hit hit what uh okay search oops hit search it shows this error message and i can hit enter and let's see okay mm -hmm. uh, i'll use curl to inspect the api response first that's a good approach so it's wait but the ai has went ahead and <laughs> searched for the word not existent word <laughs> interesting okay in which case we'll wait till it is done so the problem was with the incorrect assumption about the structure of the api and now the ai has went ahead and fixed it is what it says maybe i'll try to refresh it once and maybe let's say car and hit search oh yes there you go we can find all this information like a wheeled vehicle that moves independently with at least three wheels okay powered mechanically steered by a driver and mostly for personal transportation maybe i can go ahead and switch for another one let's say computer yeah looks good so the intended functionality is indeed working and next up maybe i'll go ahead and open gemini cli and maybe let's just go ahead and ask the ai to sort of customize and give this page a modern look so let me go ahead and say could you please redesign the entire page with some modern design elements and give it a sleek and modern look okay and now i'll hit enter and let's wait so basically this is the flow and this is how you use the app so you will find a small input box you go ahead and give your prompt in there and hit enter and now the ai will go ahead and start doing the stuff like making the edits creating files removing files creating new directory the ai will take care of all that and initially the ai might ask you the permission to sort of run a particular command so you can go ahead and allow it once or let's say allow every time so you can take it up that way in which case let's wait all right so there you go it says here's my plan update this color scheme and typography i'll choose a modern and clean color palette sensory phone enhanced visuals okay let's wait okay so it says i have completely redesigned the dictionary app with a modern and sleek look let's see i'll refresh hmm. laptop maybe hit enter huh it's better right and now well okay looks good synonyms things are nicely you know sort of uh, formatted and i can even find a source link now which if i click should take me to the source page which is of course wikishnery okay whatever that is so yeah that's how you basically use gemini cli and if you want to quickly get started and start using it completely for free right away all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to this github repo page right here scroll down and find this command before that make sure node is installed and then go ahead and copy this run it in your terminal authenticate with your google account open and launch gemini cli and you can start using it right away and now as i mentioned earlier the free model or the free version of gemini cli allows you to use up to 60 requests per minute and again 1000 model requests per day and now if you want to let's say get even higher and enhanced you know paid uh, limit all you gotta do is to generate a key from google ai studio and you can set it as the environment variable and start using it and then you can regularly i mean you will get charged based on the usage so that's how it is so yeah i mean thousand requests per day gemini 2.5 pro will be more than enough for you to play around and do some serious stuff so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one